Costco was good and bad. Oh my gosh, these are so painful. Okay, so let's go ahead and push. <laughs> <laughs> Okay guys, we just dropped Porter and Piper off at a play date and for the last little while I've been having like kind of contractions. Um, they, weren't very, being, they weren't getting very painful, but I encouraged the contractions with a walk and pretty much just a walk. Um, but trying to stay active and off my butt and so since we just dropped them off, we're gonna go walk around Costco, maybe get some like freezer stuff. Um, just see what we can buy at Costco. <laughs> and just to walk around. Um, because my contractions have stayed around. Um, they are getting more intense. They're pretty short. They're really short. So I'm hoping that they get longer too. But I don't know, I am feeling good about these contractions. They are getting pretty painful, not to the point where I can't talk through them yet but like they're definitely there. So anyway, we're gonna go walk around Costco and just see if we can get something going, I don't know. Um, I never really checked back with you guys after our appointment yesterday. Um, we had a good appointment. I didn't get to see my doctor because she was called into the hospital, but the, doc the nurse we did see um, said my cervix is nice and soft. And I was only one centimeter dilated, but she said that she said that she wasn't super concerned about the dilation as much as how soft my cervix was because she said when your cervix is that soft, if anything starts happening, then it'll open up quickly. So she said that was a good thing. She said it was good. She said concerned as in it was yeah. Good. Um, so concerned as in like it's not that bad of a thing to not be dilated. Um, anyway, so it was good and. I didn't get my membrane stripped. I just wasn't feeling it. I wasn't feeling ready. Once we got home, we got a bunch of other things done. We put the baby, um, the pack and play up in our room. A bunch of packages, like my diaper bag came and some baby soap came that I had ordered. So anyway, I was feeling a lot better after the appointment and yesterday afternoon, just getting things organized and things. So feeling good, hoping that these contractions will turn into something real. Stay tuned. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah. We're both excited. Okay guys. Oh Costco was good and bad. My contractions are getting really, really painful. So we came home. Uh, oh they're just really short and really like close together and so I don't know what that means. So Zach's getting his bag together. He hadn't packed a bag yet, so he's up doing that. Oh my gosh, these are so painful. I don't know what we're gonna do yet. What? Okay. Yeah, I'm okay. I don't know if it's time to go to the hospital or not. But I don't want to go to the hospital unless I know it's go time. Anyway, we'll check back with you later. Oh, I always get the shakes when I'm here. <laughs> I just shake. Yeah, just like the shock and stuff. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm like a YouTube vlogger and so I'm gonna be talking to the camera. <laughs> really awkward. So we're here and everything happened really fast and um, I got in and everyone was so great and they just like got me in so fast and got my IV and my epidural. Like just it was so fast, huh Zach? Yeah, it was crazy. It was like madhouse. It was seriously like a dramatic baby happening movie. There's something from your favorite TV, TV show, Grey's Anatomy. Yeah. <laughs> so we're here, I am dilated to like a eight or something like that. But when we got here, I was dilated to like a seven or eight already. Um, so that was really exciting and it was really painful. But I'm all good now. It's getting an epidural is like heaven. My legs are totally numb. It's so weird, it's like the weirdest feeling. <laughs> but yeah, we got here and we hadn't even told any family yet and Zach started texting people like once we were already here. So are they excited? They're so excited. Oh, yeah. No, they're like, oh bummer. They're like, oh cool. <laughs> now we're really excited and we're gonna wait like 20 minutes and they're gonna check me again and probably start pushing soon. It's um, January, Friday, January 13th and there's a full moon tonight. So that means something, I don't know. <laughs> So 
a few other little tidbits. Tara was like thanking the anesthesiologist who was doing the epidural like the whole time. He's like, she's like, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> she was so worried she wasn't gonna be able to get one. <clears throat> and I then, was, I was so worried. And she's like very vocal, so she was just like yelling. Fear. All the, all the nurses loud. were laughing. Isn't that right, Sarah? <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty awesome. So the nurses were great. Everyone was great, and we're doing good. And the baby will be here like probably really okay. soon. Yeah. Were you like screaming? Or yes. Oh yeah. Like, Katie, what you, you would like not believe it. <laughs> like Tara doesn't do this. What were you screaming? Like help me, or like just screaming? Like help ah, me. Ah, <laughs> like that. But louder. Ow. And more I was intense. Screaming ow. Ow. Even when we were telling her to like breathe, like in through the nose, out through the mouth, deep breaths, deep breaths, she's like, Rah! Yeah, it was like the exorcist. <laughs> more tight. Starting on okay. Yeah. So let's go ahead and push. Do you right, remember exactly. how to push? Grab her leg right there. So. Bring your legs back to you, grab behind your knees with okay. your hands. No, no. Okay. Let's push hard, hard, hard. Just put reins down a little bit. So let's and push so as hard, hard as you hard, can. Hard. One, go, 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 two, go, go. More, three, more, more. Four. Nice, easy push. I'm so happy. I'm so happy he's here I and mean, he's healthy. It was scary for a second. So this is baby breath number three. We don't have a name for him yet. We're still thinking. Me, I am so I am so indecisive. We've got our phones ringing off the hook. Um, but yeah, he just had his first bath and his feet prints taken. And he's doing good. He was in the CPAP. He had a CPAP on for a little while because his little lungs weren't opening up enough. So they had him on that for a while, um, a couple hours, right? Mm -hmm. About almost two hours, exactly. Yeah, and so during that time, I got kind of like cleaned up and rested and brought down to um, this recovery room. Um, and it was sad. I've never, with both my babies, I got to just have them with me the whole time. So I got a small glimpse into what the moms that have babies with real struggles go through just not having the baby with you so that wasn't very fun but he's here now and he's doing good so we're really excited and he's just sleeping he I'm nursed sleeping. a little bit um not just too had, much and then he took a bottle bath. um what, what it was like 20 millimeters or something yeah milliliters <laughs> yeah. um but we're just so happy and we just feel so blessed and we're grateful for doctors and medicine and people who care and know what they're doing. Mm. So the plan is to, I think I'm going to keep, I think I'll keep him in here with us and try and nurse him every three hours or so um, and maybe do formula. Um, and then 
tomorrow my mom is flying in she's gonna help us out and actually Zach's parents are coming into town on Monday um, just they just had plans to come into town so they were hoping that the baby would be born but no one knew so we're happy that this could happen they could come um, so yeah we'll have lots of fun things going on hopefully the kids will be able to come tomorrow morning sometime mm -hmm. they're staying at Brad and Emily's well they're staying at our house with Molly and Caleb spending the night Zach's brother Caleb and his wife Molly and then I think Brad and Emily will probably keep them tomorrow a little bit and we just got lots of help and it's so wonderful and we're just so blessed so we'll let you know when we have a name but until then this is just Baby, Baby breath, breath number three. Baby breath number three.